Are you getting the cursor too many free trial accounts message? Are you tired of being locked out and just want to get rid of this error so you can use this amazing tool for free unlimited times? Well, you've come to the right place. In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through the complete step-by-step -step process to bypass that annoying restriction and unlock cursor for good. No more trial limits, no more errors, just pure uninterrupted coding. Stick with me and let's get this done. First things first, we need to completely wipe every trace of the old cursor installation from your system. And I mean every trace. Just using the standard Windows uninstaller isn't going to cut it. So open up your browser and search for Geek Uninstaller. It's a fantastic free tool that nukes everything related to an application. We'll grab the zip file right from their official site. It's small and portable, so you don't even need to install it. Once that's downloaded, just extract the file and run the application. Now, inside Geek Uninstaller, scroll down through your list of programs until you find Cursor. There it is. Right-click on it and hit Uninstall. Go ahead and confirm you want to remove it. After the standard uninstall finishes, Geek Uninstaller does its real magic and scans for all the leftovers. And look at that. It found a bunch of hidden files and registry entries. This is the crucial part that most people miss, and it's why the too many trials message keeps coming back. Click Finish to delete all of them. And just like that, Cursor is completely gone from our system. Okay, with a clean slate, our next step is to head over to a special blog post. Now, I've put the direct link for this in the description below, so you don't have to worry about typing it all out. This page holds the key to our whole operation. We'll come back to it in just a moment. For now, we need a fresh copy of Cursor. So, let's open a new tab and go to the official Cursor website to download the latest version. Just find the download link on their page and get the installer. Once it's finished downloading, go ahead and run the setup. You can just click through the installer with all the default settings. No need to change anything here. Just accept the license agreement, click Next, Next, and then install. It'll take a minute or two to extract all the files and get itself set up on your machine again. All right, the installation is complete. Now pay close attention because this next sequence of steps is absolutely critical. Let the application launch for the first time when you see the Welcome to Cursor screen with the sign up and login buttons. Do not sign in yet. I repeat, do not sign in yet. Just click Skip and Continue go through the initial theme and quick start setup pages, and then immediately completely close the application. This is a very important step. If you skip this, the rest of the method will fail. Now, let's go back to that blog post I told you about. You'll see a section called Step 3, Run PowerShell Reset Script. Click the download link for the script. It's hosted on Google Drive. It might say no preview is available. That's fine. Just click the download button and then click Download Anyway. On the next screen, once you have the script, which should be named h.ps1, let's get organized to make this easy. Go to your Downloads folder and create a brand new folder. Let's call it Cursor, just to keep things clean and simple. Now, move that h.ps1 script file into the new Cursor folder you just created. Go to your Start menu and search for PowerShell. Perfect. Now for the magic trick. We need to run this script with administrator rights. In the PowerShell window, we need to navigate to the folder where we saved our script. Type CD followed by the path. An easy way to do this is to go to the folder in your file explorer, copy the path from the address bar up top, and then right click in PowerShell to paste it in. Hit enter. Now that we're in the right directory, we're going to execute the script. Copy the command directly from the blog post. PowerShell dash execution policy bypass dash file dot slash h dot ps1. Paste that into PowerShell and hit enter. Watch this. The script runs, finds your old blocked machine identifiers, and generates brand new ones. It updates the necessary files and registry keys behind the scenes. When you see reset complete and cursor machine identifiers have been reset successfully, you know it's worked. We are now officially a new machine in the eyes of Cursor. Okay, go ahead and close PowerShell. It's time to launch Cursor again. This time, instead of skipping, click the Sign In button. 
this will pop open a login page in your browser. Now, we don't want to use our real email address, right? So let's open another tab and search for tempmail. The first result, tempmail.org, is perfect for this. This site gives you a free, disposable email address that we can use to sign up without a trace. Then click the Copy button right next to it. Now, head back to the cursor sign up page. At the bottom, click on Sign Up. Paste in your new temporary email address, make up any first name and last name you want, and click Continue. You might have to prove you're a human, just complete the quick verification check. Next, it'll ask you to create a password. Enter a secure password and continue. Now it needs to verify your email address. Go back to your TempMail tab. You might need to refresh the inbox, but in a few seconds, you'll see a new email from Cursor. Open it, and there's your verification code. Just copy the code, switch back to the Cursor verification page, and paste it in. As soon as you paste it, it will automatically verify and log you in. The very final step is to confirm you want to log in to the desktop app. Click Yes, Log In. And that is the moment of truth. You'll see a success message in your browser saying, All set, feel free to return to Cursor. And when we switch back to the app, look at that. We are logged in with a brand new account on the free plan. The too many trials error is completely gone. Let's create a new chat and test it out to be sure. We'll type our original message, Hi. By the way, this video is entirely for educational purposes. And we get a response. Hello, I'm here to help you with your coding tasks. By the way, if this is saving you a major headache, do me a quick favor and hit that subscribe button. It literally takes two seconds and helps me create more guides like this. Let's be real. You don't want this method to mysteriously stop working, do you? All right. It works perfectly. You can now use all the free features without that annoying restriction popping up ever again. You've successfully reset your trial and you can repeat this exact process whenever you need to in the future. It's that simple. And there you have it. If this tutorial saved you today, please show some love and support the channel. Hit that subscribe button for more tutorials just like this one. Give the video a big thumbs up and let me know down in the comments if it worked for you. Finding and testing these methods takes a ton of time, so every like, comment, and subscription really does help out a lot. Thanks for watching, Code Director, and I'll see you in the next one.